it called the creative industry? Because it creates value, it creates jobs, it creates brands, it creates uh, opportunities for a lot of people. What I'm telling you all is actually after years of experience and realizing these things, I wish I knew more of this when I was younger. And one of the things that we're trying to do is trying to bridge uh, what they teach you in universities to what real life is all about. I am a living proof that even a chemical engineer can be a CEO of Dentsu, which is the largest single brand agency in the world. The art of writing in a conversational way, in a way that engages people in a brand conversation, um, is now what the business is about. I'll tell you what media is not. And media is not math, is not formulas, is not all that jargon. So anybody who, who, who says that digital is the future really is living in the past. They're not living in today's reality. Art directors, most of the good ones know how to draw. Uh, and then they can present ideas with just a drawing. They don't need a computer. Honestly, in account management, you don't need to be loved. You need to be respected. What the role of strategy is, it's about connecting the dots so that it starts to make sense. Every freaking thing that you do, every single thing that you touch, every single thing that you view, where you came from, where you're going after, everything is being tracked. And I like to believe, right, that uh, the creative people is the most important people in an agency, right? Because we are the one who did all this uh, magic. The business of commerce, brands and marketing, it really is warfare. You have to put yourself in the shoes of the client. You have to understand you know, what the issues are. Look out for opportunities, work very, very closely and you know, always be there to provide solutions. If you're going to go in this line, treat it like you're going to go into the Marines, yeah? So the minute you walk into that job, we really don't care where your degree is, what you did in school and how wonderful you were. You won't see your parents, you won't see your girlfriend, you won't see your boyfriend, you won't see your dog say goodbye to them because you'll be spending a lot of energy in the agency doing great. So, what do you need? What do you need to develop now and to be successful? A good portfolio with ideas so good I'd want to hire them right away. Brilliant ideas that are going to last. We desperately need copywriters who can think in English, in Malay, and especially in Chinese. No matter what you do, make darn sure you perfect your English. You must be passionate. You must really love what you do. You should choose a career not to make money, but to make meaning. If you go after money, money will run away. But if you go after passion, money will come to you. We get hundreds of resumes a month. And you've got, to, you've got to wonder, and you've got to ask yourself, how do you actually get noticed? So employers also stop. So before you come to an interview, you see your resume, we kind of find your name, match your picture, we can kind of stop and know where you've been. Advertising is not really a profession, guys. Yeah? If you're in it just for the money, Sadly mistaken, it's more of a calling. It's like building wells in Uganda or, or helping out, you know, building you know, huts in Sarawak or something like that.